In this video, we're going to work on what's known as multi column process chart. Multi column process chart, which is a way to study the flow <coughs> analysis in a company. We already considered the string diagram as an example before, but now we're going to use the column process chart. But uh, before I start, if you please subscribe as it motivates me to do more videos, and if you have any questions, please write to my email address. So we've already in the example before we've already established in the example before we have already let me just make it a little bit bigger. We've already established if we in case we have drawing toolbar, let's just put this one here. In case we have um, uh, in the example before, if you want to have a look at it, which is a string diagram flow analysis using string diagram. So if you go to a company and the layout of the machine is R, A, B, C, D, E, F, S. And we have five products and this is the routing for the products. So every product will follow these steps in order to be accomplished. So we have R, A, B, D, C, F, and S for product one. Let's consider the example how it is to be done. Okay, so using multi column process chart. So we have R A B D S R A B D and S. Okay, R A B D C F and S C R A B C. Sorry, this is I need to just repeat this, and I'm gonna delete it. So R A B and D and D C. We go upward and C F and F S. Okay, so. R A R A B D and where there is a line it must supposed to be like a circle but I have to draw it here and I'm gonna do this fifth product R C A D S using blue R C A R C A D S so we have R C A And D and S. Okay, so this is the uh, same as I said before, where there is a line must be to be a circle. And for product three, R E F R E F B A. B A sorry A it's supposed to be A and C and D S and S. Can I redo the last one? So R E F B and A C and D and S K and uh, we do product two so we have R B D C and A and S and the last one will be S okay. and product for R F A product for R F A R F A C D and S. 
and I have to remind you where there's a line it must supposed to be a circle so if we we count the steps so we have from the line one two three four five six seven eight nine so we have here nine and the optimal is seven okay and we have one two three four five six seven eight eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay so we count them we always have seven as the optimal always have seven as the optimal case okay so the efficiency is always over is always 35 over uh, so we count them all the units we have until we get to the answer so so this is nine let's do the second one we have r r b one two d c three four four five a six seven seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so here have thirteen and for product three I one two three four five five six F six okay seven eight nine ten ten eleven 12, 13, to go to C, 14, to D, 15, 16, 17, so this one is 1, 7, and product 5, R, C, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and product 4, R, F, A, 1, RF one two three four five six six seven eight nine ten eleven to A sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one so we have here thirty fifty one sixty two and seventy one okay and we do the same for the next one and we compare the efficiency which one is greater so the more we are next to like 100% the better the system is improving efficiency is by relay outing the steps we have here the machine we have here in a factory in order to accomplish a high result okay